Now, as far as the whole theoretical, of course, he does great. He has plans to study, he is well trained. When it comes to the practical, is where things actually shine. This way, yeah, he does still not really care for Bakugo. Bakugo did forget the ass whooping that he was delivered, but still, something is irking Bakugo how not only he's into his build, but he's walking confident. He's walking tall, like there's nothing wrong with the world. And of course, this this cannot be when it comes to Bakugo being in his presence. So when he actually does try to get on Izuku's nerves, Izuku ignores him. And this just pretty much causes Bakugo to want to throw him up. But the problem is, yeah, he's going to wait. But when it comes to him really thinking, okay, the thing about him has really changed. Eh, yeah, he ain't wrong, but also he still doesn't know what. Besides the whole he has a quirk theory. When it comes to testing around, yes, he still does see how nervous Araka is. But he just thinks, oh, I could, I would have been the same way if I wasn't training so hard. So he just does some stretches and calms down. Him wishing her luck in his mind. Because he don't want to be a stick in the mud. Yeah, he sees he's not bothering anyone. He's just getting ready for a test. We do <laughs> just show how the differences of the damn robots. One point, two points, three points, zero points, all that crap. Izuku is more interested in the zero pointer here. Because, yeah, though he is still similar to how he would be in canon, you no know, quirk nerd and everything, being, uh, being on Mars, training not only with All Might, also the Queen of Mars, you know, she actually does like whooping his ass and also having punishment games. But that's neither here nor there. He still wants to sh show off. He wants to really see the fruits of his labor. Especially with All Might getting weaker, you know, it's like, ugh. The other shoe's about to drop sooner or later. So, yeah. As you can imagine, he's hyped up and ready to go. One thing is, well, President Mike is starting all the proceedings. As soon as he's done, Isaku zooms through the doors, leaving a huge. <laughs> escaping hole where those poor steel doors used to be. Of course, everyone was wondering why he didn't wait for a prison to say go. Of course, I wasn't going to say anything. Seriously, the prison are going to wait for you to <laughs> Seriously. One problem is, with Izuku having so much power, even without one for all, he's of course destroying robots left and right. Practically daring Nezu and anyone else who may be watching to send out the zero pointer. Everyone is shocked at this. Present Mike looking at you know, the observation room was like, What the hell? Oh my, watching this is pretty much uh, bastards being a show off. But he still has pride in his heart. Nezu. Seeing a cocky human, so okay, want to play that game? Fine, let's see how you do. Guess it's zero pointer. Of course, he does wait till the end of the test. The only thing is, Izuku, as soon as he does see a zero pointer, he does want to take it on, of course. So, when he does, he one shots it. He doesn't even notice that Oraka was there. 
Yeah. It's safe to say he feels very proud of himself. That's pretty the end of that. When he does go home and sees that Queenie is there waiting for him, he's of course still a bit more in reserved around her, but he has loosened up a lot more, especially considering that, yeah, you know, he doesn't have much experience with women, but one being his mom, yeah. She's very outgoing and she's very sweet. Izuku was just wondering, how lucky am I that someone like this, queen of a whole dang planet, just so happened to take interest in me. But he does notice that she does seem to have a strong distaste for a certain waterfowl. Of course, she wants to know what, what's going on with that, considering that she's pretty much called for the execution of all the ducks that they just so happen to come across. And of course, her being her is like, no, nah, it's fine. It's nothing. I just don't like them very much. Izuku, being a nosy bastard, oh, of course, doesn't believe it's nothing. And yeah, he goes to his mom for advice. Her? Okay. I think she has some history with ducks, of course. It causes her to be overly hostile. No dumb mom, but I mean, what do you think I should do? You can ask her. I tried, it didn't work. Hmm. Okay. Um, ask someone who's close to her. The first person you should do, all she thinks of is Marvin. Even though, yes, he does seem like a goofball, he is still not to be trifled with. At least, not to be taken lightly. Of course, he's a goose wants to scoop on. Why does she hate ducks? And this is where he does receive the whole... <clears throat> you know failed marriage or you know the whole patrol thing didn't go well first time mr dodgers was a selfish asshole <laughs> yeah 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 and he's like learning this is like oh my i feel so sorry for her. but marvin makes easy to swear to secrecy not say a damn word about it. He cannot risk her getting upset at him or Izuku. And so, of course, Izuku not only swears that he wouldn't tell her, but also, like, I'm gonna help her get past this somehow. Of course, he. He wanted to be a nosy bastard, try to think of ways to okay, see if I can make it so she doesn't hate ducks anymore. At least, she, when she sees a duck, she gives zero ducks. Oh, God, that was terrible. Even for me, that was, oh, that was terrible. <clears throat> but I don't have to wait, because now he's gotten his letter. He's see that yes not only did you succeed in getting the UA you made it the first place you think I may have known that this was gonna happen but it just makes it all the more real just to see that acceptance letter at least the hollow disk 
first day you weigh, of course, he's he's really feeling himself. He he feels like he's on top of the world right now. Nothing can really drag him down. When he sees that big ass door, he's like, "This is it. It's the first day of me trying to become a hero, pro hero." And of course. He sees Bakugo. Bakugo see that he is there, and not only shocks him, like so you did get in. Yep, you do have a quirk, don't you? Yes, I do. You wait. You're not going to deny it. No. What's the point? You're going to find out sooner or later, anyway. Where's Bakugo looking? <laughs> Up and down, like, who gave you the ball? Stop to me like this. Izuku just takes a seat. It just ignores Bakugo. Of course, he's seething bad. He's starting to think, okay, his quirk cannot be that strong. Yeah, he may have a quirk now, but still, I'm sure I'm positive my quirk is still stronger. Because of the quirk test, Zuku does need to use one for all. Only thing is, tests are a lot easier because not only does he have full counting ahead of time, not only does he have such a large percentage of one for all to work with, but thanks to the gravity of Mars, he doesn't even have to tap into too much of that. Of his full power. What is the power that he has access to? So he basically he rules the whole thing. Of course, he can't beat Infinity, but he sure as hell can beat everyone else's and all the rows. Malgo seen the sheer power as well as learning that Izuku got first place. Of course, Izuku. Uh, he knows Bakugo by now. He knows that Bakugo's going to try to attack him, and of course he does. One thing is, Izuku is no pushover anymore. And he deals with it. Take care of business. Even as I was shocked at this, wondering, okay, there's more of this kid that meets the eye. So, today ends... Yeah, Oraka does have a slight crush on Yuzuku, considering that he did save her. Even though he did not even notice she was in trouble to begin with. And you can imagine, she does try to talk to him. Calling him Deku. Only real problem with that is... Izuku hates that nickname. Especially, hell, he knows the meaning of it. He knows he, that, yeah, it's not some cute, childish nickname that Bakugo and his friends decided to give him. It was meant to be a real fucking insult. And he is made peace of the fact that he might never be friends with Bakugo again. But right now, he just does not care. So, please don't call me that. I hate that name. Of course, this takes Oraka off guard. She's, a, but Oraka was calling you this. Like, yeah, he's an asshole. And hearing Izuku call him that, Oraka was looking flabbergasted. Like, oh my goodness, this is not Izuku. This is not. This is not Deku. This is not him anymore. This, this must be an imposter. <sighs> but we yeah, have no real time to really test that theory. When, of course, Queenie shows up. Yeah, she showed up in the spaceship. Of course, everyone knows about the whole Martians being real, Mars having life on, and now. 
And of course, Bob goes like, wait, is that his? Who the hell is that? Of course, and uh, of course, Momo knows exactly who that is. That's the queen of fucking Mars. Everyone looking towards you like, wait, how does he know her? Izuku feeling very confident right now. He looks back right at Bakugo. She's my future wife. As he just hops in that spaceship and they go flying. And now he is crying blood while saluting Izuku for bagging the damn queen of Mars. While everyone else is just dumbfounded. Of course, Aizawa, though he has heard some things, he's like, oh, that's some bullshit. Him turning his head, knowing that Toshinori, explain. Yeah. Gave me the full scoop from All Might, and he's like, oh my god. All right, nice, nice. So this kid can only grab the attention of you when it comes to, you know, passing on your quirk, but he also gathers the attention of a monarch. Yeah. And this boy is going to inherit the throne of Mars mm -hmm. and the potential of making Earth into nothing but bits of uh, space debris is going to be up his alley. He's going to be able to do that whenever he wants. Yes. Yeah, I'm surprised he was able to keep his cool for so long. What? Are you kidding me? Did you not just see how he bounced out of here? Oh no, that's just an act. What? You see, one of your students is, uh, well, was his bully. No. Yes. So what you're saying is that little display that sideways look, he was, he was giving the class where he said, that's his future wife. He wasn't looking at the class, he was looking at that one boy. Yes. So what you're saying is this kid really just did all that just to flex on his old bully? That would be correct. Damn, that's petty. Hell, I, I got it. I got, I got respect for that. But at the very least, you know, you, I, did, I didn't anticipate that. Oh, this is gonna be interesting in class, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, by the way, I've noticed that you've been in your book form for a while now. What's what gives? Oh, oh, <laughs> about that, I'm healed. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I'm healed. Uh, uh, no, 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 no way. Yeah, respiratory system's all good. My chigger's ticking, my... The lungs are intact. I think the scar's even gone. Wait, but you already gave this kid your quirk, so you're right now you're getting weaker by the second. Yeah. No, technically, I still have embers for all. Why am I using them? Wait, mean when you're not. So wait, this you is yes, my buff form. 
It no longer restrains me. I don't have to use one for all. Keep it intact. Wow. So, yeah, that, that kid pretty much... Damn. This kid really, uh... Did you a solid? Oh, like you won't believe. Ugh. At the very least. One for that kid, who knows how I would be right now. I mean, pardon me. Feels one for all flicker, but it's weird. I don't really have to use it that often anymore. What do you mean? I mean, with some of these villains, I do come across. Yeah, it may take some effort, but not nearly as much as before. Explain. For some reason, though, yes, quirks are evolving and getting more unpredictable. Due to the training that me and young Midoriya did on Mars. It's incredible. The food and water atmosphere there. And even the training room that we use. I feel like myself, not only after the whole operation restoring my body, but it's almost as if, hmm, let me try something. I'm like, what are you doing? I just want to, I want to just want to test something. Him cocking back his fist and smashing, eh, let's say, the whole or indention he makes into the concrete wall is around the same size as Manetta. Can't just use your quirk. I didn't use it. What? Tell me I did not use my quirk. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you didn't use? Like I said, that was not my quirk. That was me. I exerted some force, but I did not activate one for all for it. Man, it's not even a scratch on my fist. What, what is going on here? Wait, 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 we are going to have to test this. At least the capabilities of you right now because it's crazy enough that you're healed but the fact that you uh not only don't have to strain yourself for your buff form but the fact that you did that yeah i i didn't expect this to happen either anyway oh wow he's a cool it's still right where he this Queenie, she is blushing like hell. Of course, Suzuku was also as red as a tomato. Her looking back at him and him looking at hers. I can't believe you actually said that. Me neither. I. I it was in the moment. I just, I just couldn't heal myself. I didn't expect you to announce it like this. I, I, I know, I'm sorry. No, I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. It's just very unexpected. I didn't think you would uh, announce it to your whole uh, your, your classmates. I, uh, I'm a little I'm a little called guard. So uh, it's not like a big deal about it. You called me your future, future, future wife. Uh, it, it's a, uh, it's okay. I, I'm not freaking out. It's just I didn't expect you to do that. Me neither. I, I really didn't. 
the moment just felt right. But, well, hopefully you feel more comfortable calling me that more often. Sure. Uh, yeah, I have no problem doing that. Good, good, just good. <sighs> so, now, so we can go home. But yours or mine? What do you mean? You want to go to your apartment or? Let's go home. I still need a destination. Our home. Yeah, of course. And she almost crushes the damn spaceship. Coming back to Mars. And even though, yeah, she is flustered like high hell over how Izuku is definitely more uh, forward than she would have expected him, especially considering how he was beforehand. Okay, I can't believe yeah, she's he's actually more comfortable with this than I thought. <laughs> he's just trying to keep his composure while also remembering his plan to make it so he gives zero ducks about <laughs> her ex. <sighs> there may be a special place in hell for people who make these terrible puns and I might be saying I might be one of the first damn residents. <clears throat> anyway, with that done, now we have the heroes versus villains. For sake of simplicity, let's keep it the same as it would be in canon. And considering that, yeah, he's a good pretty much dogged everyone with the court <laughs> tests. Yeah, I walk up like, okay, this is going to be an easy win. But Izuku is just looking at Bakugo and he is like, we have to come up with a plan. Yeah, no, thank you. Wait, what? Yeah, don't need one. Wait, you're just gonna run in there hands blazing? Like, look, look, I know that idiot. There's no way in the hell he can really beat me in a, in a full on fight. So, what you got strong? He beat all of us in the court tests. Which we show what we could do. You notice how that lightning sparks around him? He didn't use his quirk for some of them tests. At least not to the full extent, I don't like. Seriously, how, how would you know? If he was holding back or not. I was there with him during his practical exam. I saw what he did to those four robots who didn't stand a chance. The zero pointer didn't stand a chance against him. And all I saw was him smiling that like he was finally being able to let loose. We are not the same. You really think I could lose to him? Oh yes, there is no doubt. You are, you are going to get dog walk. <laughs> so you you might not know this, but I went to school with him. And he was nothing but a corpus loser. 
So, yeah. Th there is nothing to worry about. If I gotta do is scare him a little bit, he'll get back in line. Just like when we were kids. Ugh, someone's obviously on her of character development. Ugh, seriously, at first all this stuff with Martians, now this kid, my classmate, claims to be a troll. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, that has to be fake. What? Yeah, that whole patrol nonsense, that, that has to be ridiculously cap. I, I, I call cap on that. So who the hell do you think picked him up that day at school? I don't know. Could have been cosplay for all I know. You know some of these people. Hey, cosplay is serious shit. You have no idea how fucking extravagant some of these cosplays can get and how fucking expensive. Do not talk shit about someone's passion. I'm not. I'm just saying there are cos cosplayers and we've seen what a damn Martian looks like now. Ugh. How's that denial feeling? Oh, just need some more copium, that's all. What's it starts? Izuku is he's just walking. He's just walking from floor to floor until he comes across Bakugo. Bakugo he does end up building up his sweat. Just enough so we can launch those two <laughs> damn cannons. Which he does. Only thing is, Izuku, he just bats them away. Of course, All Might does scold Bakugo for doing this, as well as scold Izuku for wanting to not take this seriously at all. Izuku does tell Oraga, okay, go for the bomb, I'll take care of this bastard. And then goes the fighting. Only thing is, Izuku is not taking it as seriously as Bakugo is. While Bakugo is using his explosions, Izuku is not using his quirk nearly as much as you would expect him to with his level of control. If anything, He's just using it to slowly just build up more momentum or just to barely dodge Bongo's explosions. To the point where, yeah, of course Bongo is going to have to switch up his flying style. The thing is, Zuku, he's, he's still a lot stronger. To the point where he does end up coming Bongo, and Bongo is conscious, but he is... Arkin man. Izuku doesn't even give him the courtesy of turning around to look at him as he goes to help Oraka. Hero team wins. The only real notes they end up getting is not only did Bakugo not even think about coming up with a plan, but Izuku was overconfident. And though, yes, they do realize may have some reason for his overconfidence if this was a real I do mean a real villain attack and whatnot cost the situation type thing yeah he could jeopardize the whole mission he gets to take this stuff more seriously but well, though his pride is hurt his body is still intact and Nothing broken. Same goes for Izuku. No visit from. Eh, you know, then there's robots. No need to go see <laughs> Miss Recovery Girl either. 
If I had one, she does here, but uh, all white is healed. All she could think about was how. And of course, he can't really hide anything from her. Eh, if you want to, then I'll see you learn sooner or later. Turning at the mess and the capabilities of Martian tech, she can't help but want to check it out herself. Only thing is, Moonlight does have access to it. Only thing is, eh, he needs Izuku's permission. Because, yeah, other than the Queen of Mars, Izuku is the only one who has the authority to grant access. So, yeah, he has to go to Izuku and ask him to, like, can the recovery girl uh, come see all this medical equipment? Izuku, learn that. Yeah, sure, why not? That could be actually very helpful. I want to see capabilities of Martian tech. All the recovery girl can say is, wow. She had no real words to really express how advanced this stuff is. Especially considering that, yeah, as that whole almighty of one fight in the past, yeah. Oh my, was clinging to damn death. Well, well, he was clinging to life and death. Did you say? He could have been one hell of a coin flip. But, this also raised the question. Would they be willing to share this technology with Earth? And that's... Kind of the problem. Because while, yeah, Izuku has no problem sharing, the other Martians, not so much. You see, it's more of a waste to share their advanced technology with humans. Don't get me wrong, though, yes, their future king is going to be a human. As long as everything goes according to plan. They just don't see humans as smart enough to really operate without blowing something up. I certainly do know that humans have a tendency to ruin good things. Seriously. How how easy is it to fuck something up? We have something that was given to you, practically free of charge, but you find a way to fuck it up anyway. Hmm. Fair thing, we see humans finding a way to either kill themselves or turn into a weapon and turn it against them. And despite Izuku asking, his future wife, she kind of agrees. Fair people. Humans are violent, greedy, selfish, very prideful creatures. Izuku, having learned some Martian history, just looking at her, they like, pop me kettle. How many weapons have you built? That's different. How? Defense. No more threatening. Uh, seriously. Come on. Would it really hurt to share at least some medical technology? You can even put in fail safes so if it is used for something more uh, nefarious, it would just shut down, right? Um, guess we could 
that seems like one hell of a hassle than just saying no. Zuko decides to eh, use his charms this time. He's walking up there very slowly. He's trying to use his best and heartwarming smile. Of course, what are you doing? I'm trying to appeal to your better nature. No, you're trying to seduce me. Is it working? No. Yes. He's a good giving her a kiss on the cheek and hers are okay, fine. They can only use medical technology. But how do we know that this isn't going to get into the wrong hands? Easy. How? How is it going to be easy? Oh, you expected me to? Yeah, I, I want explanation. Only certain individuals are going to have true access to it. Really? Let me guess, the rich and famous? No. Framing public hospitals? What? You have technology here that can regrow arms. That can fix broken bones in mere seconds. <laughs> Seriously, could you imagine? Are you sure this is a good idea? Sure, why not? Because humans really don't like it when you mess with their money. Or not doctors, nurses. Heck, if you pretty much cure whatever is wrong with them, what's the point going to the damn doctor? Huh, exactly. You have to really think about this, Izuku. I know you mean well, but if you're not careful, shit's gonna get really bad really fast. Right. Good night. You are right on the money there, aren't you? Thank you. Hmm, I'm going to talk with Recovery Girl on this. Who? Oh yeah, she's all my doctor. Oh, oh okay. Not Recovery Girl. No, she's a doctor. That's a very impressive. Oh no, she's... She's not a girl. She's a, actually... Um... Mature. She, she's uh, advanced in age. Explain. Is he notices some fumes coming off from her silhouette and he's, he's wondering like, what, what, what's wrong? So she, first you call her mature, now you call her advanced in age, which is it? How old is this woman? That she doesn't know she's older than you. Oh, so you like them older. Wait, 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 what? Of course, she starts to really get one hell of a misunderstanding. Oh, Izuku is trying his, his damn best to keep her calm. And coming in clutch, here comes All Might with Recover Girl. Upon seeing this old woman, she's like, I thought it was this one person. Wait, where is this recovery girl? That is her. What? Seeing the short old lady is a... Huh. It's not your type at all, is it? No. Like, oh, I, I, I might have... I, I am sorry. I might have uh, overreacted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't lie. I, I'm sorry. 
I can't lie, I'm kind of flattered that you cared so much, but still, I'm a little worried that your temper is going to be the death of me. And humanity. Hey, as long as you stay faithful, you won't have to worry about a thing. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I can, I can do that. Are you sure? Yeah, seriously, it's, it's not hard to not cheat on someone. Really? Well, if you get a little tipsy or... Sorry. I'm not allowed to drink. Yeah, okay, well, if you get under the... I'm not allowed to partake in any substance that may impair my judgment. Okay, what well, if someone walks around and she's harder than me? That doesn't really matter. Explain. Well, if we're getting married, if we're you know, you're my fiance and I'm yours, it shouldn't matter if uh, someone may or may not look more attractive than you and passes it. Through anything, our I suppose to forsake all the others. You know, for better, for worse. And you're, I'm supposed to be yours. You're supposed to be mine, and all that. You know, supposed to be faithful to each other. So you really wouldn't know. For anything, that'd be very disrespectful towards you. Seriously, I shouldn't need anyone else. What if I gave you the option of having a harem? Open, open, nope, nope, nope. Really? No, not, not really interested. Only need one person. And that is you. And of course, Izuku being romantic without even meaning to do it. And yeah, she falls into his arms crying happy tears. While All Might is shedding some few happy tears himself just with a thumbs up. While Recovery Girls and... Ah, yes. This boy has been raised right. Yeah. But seriously, are you are you sure he's your disciple? Uh, go for your girl. Yes. But what the hell? What? Why are you trying to throw me under the bus? Hey, I'm just saying. He seems a lot smaller than you. Wow. Wow. You're kind of offended. That has nothing to do with me. Hey, if you feel offended, too bad. Ain't my fault. <laughs> okay. Now, now I kind of feel hurt. He's a good, pretty much tell me, can okay, you give us some a long time, uh, my, uh, my wife is kind of uh, going through some things. Zuku's still holding her, her still crying, a damn river. But, yeah, that boy is going to be a great hero. He's a good king, too. Yes. Next. Of course, it's a USJ. Izuku having some heightened battle sense. Of course, he feels a disturbance. Right when they do arrive there, he does notice it's surprisingly quiet for such a diverse set of environments. He hears a warring fire, he hears the wind. But if anything, 
It feels too calm. So the one where he does ask us, I was, does something not feel right here? Of course. So he's, as always, he's wondering, huh, I must be getting rusty in my age. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like something ain't right either. Of course, the things can go south. The villains get them separated. One thing is, Izuku, yeah, he is no weakling like he was before. He actually has some power. Which is bad news for those villains. When it comes to the Nomu, yeah, Shigaraki did want to end up using this for All Might, who did get laid because he did decide to do some hero work. Luckily, he doesn't have to use his quirk. So, they do end up bringing out the Nomu. Zuku does notice how, yeah, for some reason, this thing doesn't feel human. But one thing for certain, when he does see that Aizawa's damn elbow gets a little disintegrated, he knows that Shigeru is the one that does it. Because internet, he does have more overall potential and he is more uh hmm, what's, the, what's the word for it? battle hungry as well as have a better battle sense he does stop Sue from getting disintegrated one thing is Nino does show up to protect Shigaraki and Izuku of course uh, you took that punch like a champ. So he tells Moneta and Sue to get out of Dodge. He squares up with the Nomu. Of course, this Nomu was designed to take on a, a fully powered, non weakened, or injured All Might. Of course, Suzuku, but his percentage isn't. Quite enough, considering that the Nomu does have not only a rubbish figure generation of solid absorption, and Izuku does it, yeah, he slowly starts to lose ground. But this is when All Might does show up, and considering that he is pretty much at his prime now, he does end up being the damn Nomu. So, yeah, and it's a hell of a lot easier. He doesn't have to worry about debuffing. He doesn't have to worry about Shigaraki. He can make no move anymore because that thing is history. He sees it. He's like, wait, no, you're supposed to be weak. How in the hell are you doing this? And, yeah, of course, oh my, he has some questions. Like, what the hell did I just fight? Shigaraki, of course, name drops all for one. And of course, All Might is wondering, there's no fucking way. So, Shigaraki, yeah, he leaves a call Gary. He leaves the other guns behind, especially in Nomo. And that is the end of that. Knife doesn't even get to nearly stop the whole damn series. Seriously, just one, just one shot between the eyes. Man, oh, man, almost in the whole damn series. But yeah, all's well that ends well. You end up taking them all into custody. What we do actually learn that yeah, this thing. Is not only not human, it's brain dead. See, it's only we'll take orders from uh, Shigaraki. Not only that, it has multiple quirks that seem very abnormal. And they do want to get more in depth. Yeah, yeah their medical equipment isn't 
nearly as good. Though, yes, they do have a lot of healing capabilities, thanks to Izuku convincing his wife to allow humans to have it. Analyzing is not their forte. So you do end up bringing it back to Mars. Which luckily for them, they do realize like, okay, not only this thing have multiple works, but it seems as though they were artificially implanted. Like, yeah, this is man-made per se. Whoever this was, they were completely brain dead. Of course, all my is wondering, are you kidding me? No. Sadly, it seems like, yeah, whoever created this thing was a real sick person. Monster. And of course, all my notes exactly perfect candidate for such a description. But if anything, they do it, I'll leave it. The damn no moon Mars because she wants to have the scientists do more tests on it and see how far the government has gone to this uh, terrible, terrible state. Now, considering that, yeah, pretty much no one got hurt, as well as, you know, the whole fact that all my was able to really beat the Nomu so easily. Yeah, it goes to the press. Is there any no one got hurt? This actually makes them look a lot better. The only thing is, is that people are pissed that what the hell, this is you. Hey, how did they get in to UA? This is I mean, all my goals here, all my teacher, they had the guts to do this. Are our kids safe? Yada, yada, yada. And this is when Izuku does want to know, like, okay. As manipulative as the media is being, especially with these questions, they do have a point. Like, how in the world could they know not only that you are our teacher, that you were supposed to be here with us, let them get in. I mean, yes, you can turn into the warp gate villain, but still, how would they know? This actually gives everyone's gears a turn and there has to be a UA trader. So someone has to be giving them this information. And of course, Izuku sure as hell can't think of anything right now. I think all I think we could do is review all the video cameras. Hopefully we find something that helps shed some light into this situation. But until then, yeah, pretty much grasping the straws. Best thing I can do is hope that nothing drastically gets worse. So, he's a group. All the others, they go home. And they do still end up want to do the UA Sports Festival. Hearing this, Izuku is, of course, yawn, excited. Because, if anything, not only would this allow him to show the fruits of his labor, also, they'll broadcast that, yeah, there's going to be a new number one soon enough. 
His name is Sukumadoria.